Metals can be found in almost all the products and technologies that we use today. But with the world's population expected to reach 9 billion by 2050, the availability of precious and speciality metals is coming under pressure. One of the solutions is recycling. Metal can be used almost infinitely, recovered, recycled and then used again. To discuss this, we're joined in the studio by Mark Grinberg, Chief Executive of the Global Materials Technology and Recycling Group, Umicor. I'm Linda Dubley. Welcome to the Business Debate. Mark, first of all, welcome to the London Stock Exchange Studios. A basic question right at the start. What kind of metals are you extracting and from what kind of waste? We extract precious metals such as gold, silver, platinum and palladium and we extract also some more exotic specialty metals such as indium, selenium or antimony that are used in high-tech applications. And actually we do recover them from uh, end-of-life products like electronic scrap or span catalysts as well as from uh, industrial waste streams. Now, we've all got quite used to your standard recycling of glass and paper and plastics, for example, but you say that the reuse of metals is central to the circular economy. Why is that? It is indeed central to the circular economy for a number of reasons. One is that we cannot continue to dig metals out of the ground indefinitely. We all know that uh, natural resources are finite by definition, and on the other side, the use of these uh, metals is continuing to grow in line with a global population because we use these metals in housing applications, in transportation, in communication, uh, for instance. And the beauty about metals is that unlike paper or glass, they can be recycled infinitely without losing any of their properties. Now the yield from uh, recycling precious metals is much higher than it is from traditional ore mining. Why is that? Let me explain that with uh, a couple of figures that are telling, I believe. If you extract or try to extract gold from a gold mine, you will probably find four to five grams of gold per tonne of ore that you mine. If you want to extract gold from uh, dismissed electronics, you will find 60 times more, like 300 grams of gold per tonne of electronic scrap. How difficult is it to actually recycle metal then? It's a matter of uh, high technology. It is a very complex and very sophisticated process if you want to do that properly. And by properly, I mean by respecting environmental standards. Everybody can melt and remelt metal and separate a few fractions easily while polluting. If you want to do that according to the most stringent environmental norms, you need pretty sophisticated technologies. So some people say that contributing to the circular economy is a distant dream. How distant is it? For us it's no longer a dream. Um, we've been uh, doing that for the past uh, two decades or so and actually it's now our business model and has become our trademark. We offer our customers a perfect materials closed loop and what the world would need in order to make the uh, business model for most uh, of uh, the metals and most of the processes is somewhat more regulatory push. We hear that only around 3% of mobile phones in the world are actually recycled. Why is that number so low? Well, it's up to us uh, in a way. Uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, like many of us you have a couple of uh, dismissed uh, cell phones uh, laying idle in, uh, in drawers at home. And that's really the, the most significant bottleneck in the, uh, the recycling process. The value um, of precious metals contained in one cell phone is about one dollar. It doesn't look like much, except if you extrapolate that to the 1.5 billion devices that are being produced every year and the hundreds of millions of them that are being dismissed every year. So it's kind of up to us to be a bit more responsible. Um, on one other point, your business is very energy intensive, um, but nevertheless you run a huge industrial chemical plant in Belgium. How does that sit alongside your environmental credentials? There are two angles to look at, uh, at that. One is that uh, while we uh, do use energy to uh, run our recycling processes, we require much less energy than if we were to uh, process or produce the same quantities of metal from primary ore. So it's far more energy efficient than primary production, than mining production. Secondly, 
We've been operating in or close a residential area for many decades now and that's been some sort of a blessing in disguise for us because it has forced us to be the most innovative company in terms of uh, technologies so that we can recycle and have at the same time the best environmental performance. Okay, well, thanks so much, Mark. That's good to hear. And join us next time when we'll be discussing the latest innovations in fintech and smart cities. Thank you.